Hello, Victory Antipolo. Welcome to our Sunday worship online today. Happy Father's Day nga pala sa lahat ng mga tatay na nanonood sa atin ngayon. Thank you. If this is your first time, you are very much welcome to join us until the end of this worship service online today. By the way, we are Victory. We are here as one church in Metro Manila and doing online services in different locations. Honor God and make disciples. Not just here in Philippines, but also in other parts of the world. Get your Bible ready and your family and your friends na kasama ninyo sa bahay. Get them together and we'll start praising and worshiping our God. Pause and take this time together na mag-worship tayo lahat sa Panginoon. But before that, let me read to you the scripture from Psalm 34 verses 1 to 3. And this is what it says. I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak His praises. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt His name together. And let us worship God right now. Everlasting Father, every brand new day it's you I see. I'm in constant wonder. Every breath I take, it's you in me. Here I am, surrender. Taste the love that lasts, and I want more. Can separate me from your love, from your love. No mountain high, no valley deep. By your love, by your love, Lord. So only by your love, Lord. Everlasting Father. Every brand new day, it's you I see. I'm in constant wonder. Every breath I take is you in me. Here I am, surrender. Taste the love that lasts, and I want more. Nothing can separate me from your love. From your love, no mountain high, no valley deep, by your love, by your love, Lord, and nothing can separate me from your love, from your love, Jesus, no mountain high, no valley deep, by your love, by your love, Lord. By your blood, covered by your grace. Invade every hour, wrap us in your embrace. Oh, washed by your blood, covered by your grace. Invade every heart. Wrap us in your embrace Oh, and nothing can separate me From your love, from your love Jesus, no mountain, I no valley deep By your love, by 
by your love, Lord, and nothing can separate me from your love, from your love. No mountain, I no valley deep, by your love, by your love, Lord. By your love, I am here. I still stand. Oh, nothing can separate me from your love. From your love, no mountain high, no valley deep. By your love, by your love, declare nothing can separate me from your love. No mountain high, no valley deep. By your love, by your love.
how strong this love burns in me, burns in me. Oh, how strong this love it burns in me, burns in me. And oh, this love it burns in me it burns in me yeah. oh, how strong this love it burns in me it burns in me in his love Let's pray together. God, we just want to thank you once again as we worship you. Thank you for your presence that giving us peace and joy inside of us. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing us today. In Jesus' name we pray and everybody says amen and amen. Once again, thank you so much for joining us. This is 2 p.m. Sunday service online. If this is your first time, we are Victory Antipolo. We honor God and make disciples. Okay, naniniwala po ba kayo sa strong relationships? Ako din, ito po yung ating isa sa mga core values ng ating uh, movement, no? yung maging strong ating relationship. From the past few uh, months, nagkaroon po tayo ng isang gathering para sa mga couples, yung sa He Said, She Said, and How to Manage healthy conflicts, di ba? So this time, we have a treat for all the singles. Lahat naman kayo ng mga singles na nanonood. Sumigaw naman kayo dyan ng yuhu! Okay, yes, ikaw na single na nanonood ngayon ay meron tayong treat para sa inyo. Kaya ikaw naman ay hindi na estudyante. Ikaw ay nagiging negosyante na or you're graduated from school already. As a single person, whether you're currently working today or not, we know that you have facing or not, you face different challenges right now, resulting from emotional stress. Diba? Para bang hindi ka mapalagay, okay? Bakit kaya? Dahil dito sa ating pandemic situation. Maybe you have already have questions in your mind tulad ng, What about my future? Like giving our, uh, how about your career? How about our situation? Paano ba mang gagawin ko dito? Nakaka-stress talaga to. How can I maximize my relationship with people? Eh, hindi nga kami nagkikita face to face. And uh, physically, paano na ang future ko? Paano na yung financial goals ko sa buhay. So anyway, these are all things that we can talk about. Bakit? That is why we are inviting all the singles online, magkakaroon tayo all singles, event entitled Malaya Talks. Okay, letting go of your anxieties. Okay, very interesting po ito. This will be on June 26, this coming Friday, at 8 p.m. Ulitin natin ha. June 26, Friday at 8 p.m. Registration is free. Open to all singles. Invite nyo yung mga kaibigan ninyo. Please invite, 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 invite. Kahit isa lang, no? And tag na ang tropa 
at sabay-sabay tayong umattend. Okay? Magdala na rin kayo ng mga chips ninyo. Uh, chips Ahoy! And also, this is free registration. So therefore, to register, just scan the QR code on your screen or go to tiny.cc slash van or V-A-N-T singles event. Okay? Thank you so much. For a time of giving, let us read from Deuteronomy 16 verses 16 to 17. Three times a year, all your males shall appear before the Lord your God at the place that he will choose, at the Feast of Unleavened Bread and the Feast of Weeks and at the Feast of Booths. They shall not appear before the Lord empty-handed. Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord, your God, that he has given you. Alam niyo po sa Old Testament, no? Pag nagkakaroon po ng celebration, ang mga Israelites po, when they celebrate, they included giving to God in proportion to how much the Lord has blessed them. But under the covenant by God's grace, ngayon na po to, no? God has provided for us everything that we need spiritually and materially. So how much more could we celebrate and give to Him our tithes, which is proportion to what He has given us, and even so much more? Okay, to instruct us how to give, let me call on Pastor Erwin Balanay, our executive pastor in Victory Antipolo, and let's watch this video. Hi everyone, Pastor Irvin here. I just want to take this time in behalf of the pastors to thank you, to thank all of you for continually honoring God through your tithes and offerings, through your giving. I'm sure the Lord himself is pleased with that, and uh, we are so thankful for people like you in the church, and he will surely, God will surely reward your faithfulness. Now today, our center will be open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. to receive your tithes and offerings. You may come at the office at our center and you may drop them at the boxes. Now some of our staff and pastors will be there to welcome you and even to pray for you if you need one, of course, applying social distancing. But for those of you who can still come at our center, at our office, you may continue to give by bank transfer online. Just take note of the banks and account numbers on the screen or you may simply scan the QR code. You may also give through GCash. In fact, a lot of our people are giving through GCash by because I think it's quite easy to process it. So enjoy the rest of the service and smile as you give. God bless you. I'm being strict for no reason. Sometimes. What? What is Daddy like? Daddy likes quiet time. Instead of saying good morning, he goes, good morning. Yes, our fun loving papa bear. You make good jokes. You really? You like my jokes? Yeah. Very service oriented. What do you like about daddy that you want to copy? I want to have a meeting. Meeting? Okay. He is gracious and understanding. I want to just be like my dad, but less strict and less stressed. <laughs> Help my children in their walk with God. This is Liam, one month old. You set to a standard of what to do in the para. You there for your kids. Good job, Anna. <laughs> I never thought that um, I been seen it from that perspective as gracious and understanding. I hope I set the bar high enough for him to follow and um, supersede. Hopefully it carries on to the next generation. Happy Father's Day! Happy Father's Day, Papa! Boy, happy Father's Day! Happy Father's Day! <laughs> Thank happy you!
Hi, Victory Antipolo. Welcome to our worship service online. I'm Irvin, and I'm one of the pastors here in Victory Antipolo. Um, today is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all our fathers who are worshiping with us. We just want to take this time to honor you. Uh, alam niyo po yung mga tatay natin, uh, we, oftentimes we forget to honor them, we forget to appreciate them. We are sometimes uh, very generous to our mothers, well that's good, okay, to stop being generous in uh, praising your mothers, I think they deserve it. But I think the fathers deserve it as well, di ba mga tatay? <laughs> alam niyo, I did a social uh, media experiment, I posted something on Facebook this week, I asked, uh, can you share something on, on the comment section, sabi ko. Uh, something about that you like about your father. And alam niyo ho, <laughs> ang mga sumagot ay yung mga nanay, yung mga asawa. <laughs> yung mga asawa ng mga tatay yung sumagot. Uh, you know, the, only those uh, mothers, actually only the mothers who responded. So, okay, <laughs> I mean, it only shows that, you know, really, you know, oftentimes we forget to honor our father. So, sabi nga ni Billy Graham, sabi niya, good father is one of the most um, unsung, unpraised, unnoticed, and yet uh, one of the most valuable assets uh, in our society. So, right now, at this point, uh, I want you to take this time to, you know, to appreciate yung mga fathers natin. You can send them a message, okay, uh, and also you you can pray for them, no? panalangin nyo sila. Later on, at the end of the preaching, we're going to be praying for our fathers. But right now, you can send them a message. Say something lang, something that you appreciate about your fathers. Okay, go on. Now, we are in a series break. Okay, we're in a series break. We just ended the series last week. And now, we are in a series break. And since it is Father's Day, okay, of course, we're going to talk about uh, the fathers. And the title of our series, okay, or the title of our series break is A Father's Heart. Okay, father's Heart. And in... Today, we're not going to talk about how to be a good father. Kasi mga tatay, huwag kayo mag-alala, hindi namin kayo sa sermon ng ngayon. Okay? Hindi namin kayo pag-agalit ng ngayon. But uh, we're going to talk about not how to be a good father, that a father should be what? Present and not absent, should be providing, not running away from responsibility, should be patient and not violent. Okay? We're not, although, though they are important, if you're a father, please take note of these things, you know, those things. But um, more than more than that, more than those behavioral stuff, you know, most of more, uh, more than those to dos of a father, we wanna we wanna go back to the heart of being a father, and that's why it's called a father's heart. You know, we're gonna look at ano ba dapat, what what should be inside the heart of every father. That's what we're gonna be talking about uh, this afternoon. Okay? Hindi yung behavioral, kasi you know what's in the heart will come out. But whatever is in your heart will come out. That's why it's very important that we always check our heart. Now, the, the question that we want to answer this afternoon is that what should be in a father's heart? Na kapag yun nandudoon, when it's present, then everything will follow. Uh, every, you know, the, the family will be blessed and the wife, the children, everyone you know, will be blessed. Even the nation will be blessed. So right now, I want you to turn your Bibles to Psalm 120. This is a very beautiful passage. I didn't realize that uh, it's actually a passage in the Bible that speaks of how a father can be a blessing, you know, to to his family. And and I just learned, you know, while preparing for this, that this passage is actually that passage. In Psalm 128, it says here, Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, okay? Um, who walks in his ways, you shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands, and you shall be blessed, and it shall be well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house, and your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. And may you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Praise God for his word. Let's, let's pray. Let's quickly pray. Lord, Lord, I pray, God, that you will minister to us today, Lord, not only to the fathers, Lord, but, Lord, to all of us, Lord. I pray, God, as a result, Lord, that we will not only, you know, as fathers, that we will not only be a good father to our children, Lord, 
But Lord, I pray that all of us, whether we are the children or whether we are the wife, Lord, that we would all recognize you as our good, good Father in heaven. Uh, and we can only be a good person. We can only be a good Father to you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Praise God. Okay. Uh, to start this, you know, I, I love, I love this. You know, I love this part. <laughs> uh, Di ba yung mga tatay, may hilig kumanta yun? Well, yung iba, may hilig sumayaw. Pero kadalasan yung mga tatay, may hilig sa mga karaoke, may hilig sa mga kantahan yung mga tatay. So, now, my question is this, no, to start our message. What song that will best describe your father? Okay, para sa lahat to, kung sa mga tatay ninyo, tingnan yung mga tatay ninyo. What song, kung meron kang song for your father, what that what that song be, would be? Okay, um, ano ba yung kanta na yan na pa, na, na para sa tatay mo, sa tingin mo. So, like for example, is your father uh, a hardworking father? Okay, hardworking ba yung tatay mo? Sino sa inyo hardworking yung tatay mo? Masipag yung tatay mo. Tatay mo. Maybe the song for your father is this. You know, alam niyo yung kata ng Beatles na Hard, hard Day's Night. It's been a hard, hard day's night and I've been working like a dog. Di ba? Alam niyo yung song na yan. Sa mga bata, hindi niya alam. Anyway, pa sa mga tatay ito. Ito pa sa inyo. Okay? Okay. <laughs> And so yeah, ang kanta ng Beatles yan, alam mo, kanta ng mga ibang mga tatay niya yan. So, yung hardworking tatay niya, that's a song for them. Now, sino sa inyo dito yung tatay niya, OFW? Oh, no, yung, wala siya ngayon dyan, kasi ibang bansa siya, nagtrabaho para, para sa inyo. You know, in Antipolo, we have a lot of OFW. So maybe, you can relate with this. No? Maybe the song for you, if your father is an OFW, is this. The, the song, Babalik ka rin, by Gary B. Diba? Saan ka ma? Naroon ngayon Saudi, Japan O oh, oh. Alam niyo yung song na yan? Babalik ka rin Di ba? Babalik ka rin Babalik at babalik ka rin Kumanta talaga eh <laughs> Okay, sige uh, Sensya na ha, tatay na mo yun Father's Day, no? Tatay din ako eh So, yan uh, Ito, is your father a hero to you? Sino sa inyo hero sa inyo yung tatay niya? Uh, pag tatay kaya, hero sa akin. Uh, grabe yung tatay ko. Okay? Sino sa inyo? Ganun kayo. Uh, maybe the song for your father is this. Di ba? Yung song na hero. Ni Mariah Carey. Uh, and then, a hero comes along with the strength to carry on and you cast your fear aside and you know you can survive. Di ba? So, yan ang mga song sa mga hero na daddy natin. Marami dyan. Kudo sa inyo mga daddy mga uh, hero like daddies natin yan. Now, there's this song, my, one of my favorite songs actually. Maybe also mga, mga senti na mga kantay. No? And I, I love this band. I used to listen to them when I was young. You know, until now, they're still around actually in the air. Yung Green Day. Yung know, Green Day, mga ano yan eh. Rock-rock yan, okay? Mga punk rock. Um, they have a song, slow song though. It's called When September Ends. And you know, the background of this song, really out from the, the vocalist of the band, wrote this song for his father when his father passed away. Maybe some of you, yung tatay nyo, wala na. And maybe this, this song is your song, you know, sabi doon. Like my father's come to pass, seven years has gone so fast, wake me up when September ends. Makakalungkot, no? Nung matay yung dad niya, ayaw na muna lumabas. So, pag malulungkot siya. So, maybe some of you, no? Maybe we're having fun here, but maybe some of you that's your situation. And, but you know what? Don't worry. Someday you're gonna see each other. I believe. So, okay, malungkot. Now, sa mga tatay, no? <laughs> if you're a father, what song do you like or do you want your children to sing for you? And, maganda yan, ngayon palang isipin mo na. <laughs> palang araw, pag namatay ka, anong remember, anong mag, paano ka nila remember? Anong song yung magpaparemind sa kanila? ay yung masasabi nila. And very important na imamuhay tayo ng ganun as fathers. And if you're a father right now, I want you to really pay attention. Okay ba yun, man? Pay attention and really listen. And may this message change you. And for those of us who are not fathers, this is for all of us. Okay? And uh, I believe there's something, you know, maybe wala tayong tate, pero we have a father in heaven. And he's a good, good father. Now in Psalm 128, the passage that we read, it's actually a song. It's a song. Okay, song yan. Di ba? Salmo. It's a song. But it's a song for fathers. I, dis- I, dis- I discovered. It's actually uh, a song that is being sung to the fathers. And the song is about how a father 
can be a blessing to, to his children. Yung pala yung song, no? It's a song for the fathers and how a father or how the fathers can be a blessing to their children. And Israel would sing this song. It's a song of ascent. A uh, song of going up. No? Um, kasi they would sing this song as they go up, as the families, you know, with the fathers, go up to the, you know, to Jerusalem to worship, to to offer their tithes and offerings. See, they're going up to offer their tithes and offerings. You know, and uh, they would sing this song. And the fathers are the one leading this song. Now, they're claiming this song in their lives. And hindi yung mga nana yung mga kanta nito, yung mga tatay, yung mga tatay, spiritual leaders, they're singing this song. And eventually, this actually being sung over the couple, especially to the to the man. Pwede yung palang kantay nito sa wedding. Dinilidiklare yung yung Paano yung blessing can flow through the fathers? Yung blessing pala, nagpo-flow yan sa tatay. No? So yan yung makikita natin dito. dito. And this song tells us how, uh, not how to be a good father, but how can the father be a blessing? You know? Hindi yung mga behavioral. Yung, Ito, dapat gawin mo ganyan. No, meron daw key dito. There's something here that we can learn that when we, when we not do it, when we are in this situation, then the blessing of God, the Father in heaven, will flow uh, through the family, through the children, to the wife, and through the nation as well. Uh, and you know what is that key? What is the key in having a blessed family? It is not, you know, by aiming to be a good father, really. Okay? Because, alam nyo, at one point, papa niya, papa niya ka, kahit ako, papa niya ako sa mga anak ko. Isa na, wala yung pasensya ako, ito, at asun boses ko, na pang, pa, ako kasi passionate ako, hindi ako yung Ano ako eh, pag napapaliwanag ako, ano ako eh, passionate ako, kaya minsan kala mo galit ako. And uh, sometimes I have to explain to my children, you know, I'm, I'm not, sorry, I'm just sometimes passionate, you know, I'm like this, you know, I'm really, um, you know, bossy talaga ako, may gano'n ako pa. And di ba, I mean, pastor na ako, I'm kristyano ako, so, pero buha pa niya pa rin ako. And if our aim just, is just to be a good father, and I'm telling you, we're gonna fail. Magpa-fail po tayo. Pero there's something here in the song, that teaches us, no, that tells us that the key really in having a blessed life, a blessed family, is actually not being a good father. But, uh, you know, when an imperfect father depends, worships, uh, honors, submits to the good father. So when an imperfect father submits to the good father, fears the good father in heaven, worship him, enjoy, delight him, then that father will be a blessing to the family. Everything will flow. That's what should be a father's heart, fear of the Lord. It says there, you know, in verse 1, Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. That's the key. It's not by providing. It's not by being present. You can be present and yet absent. It's not by... You know, take being responsible. Although they're good, you should be responsible. You should be working, but that's not the key. The key here is fear of the Lord. And when you fear the Lord, everything will flow. You're gonna be present. You're gonna be responsible. You're gonna be providing for family. You're gonna be patient. But it's not the other way around. It's not the behavior. It's the heart. Check the heart. Check your heart. Look at your heart. Start it there. Fear of the Lord. So I said, "Sabi, we tell this to the singles." Oh, yung sabi ko to, ay sa mga single na kilala ko. I mean, talagang hanapin nyo yung may fear of the Lord. Pag hindi, yari kayo, iya kayo bubuhay nyo. I mean, I would tell this to my children, ay sa mga anak ko, anak, tatlo lang ang hanap. And, hindi hanapin, okay? Antayin nyo, no? Tatlo lang antayin nyo, okay? Na mga nalalaki sa buhay ninyo. Tatlo lang, okay? Sabi ko sa kanila, una, sabi ko, tatlong M yan, okay? Una, magandang lalaki, o okay? parang, di ba? <laughs> Yung manda naman yung Yung lahi natin. <laughs> Pangalawa, syempre, may takot sa Diyos. Dapat yan. Actually, number one na may takot sa Diyos. Ha? Um, number one yan. Pero, yeah, ganda na lang, may takot sa Diyos. Takot may fear ni God. At saka, syempre, may yaman. <laughs> Pag-alang daw ka lang. Okay, um, but, uh, yeah, very important, may takot sa Diyos. Number one yan. May takot sa Diyos. Fear of the Lord. You know, now, what happens what happens when a father fears the Lord? When the head of the family fears the Lord, worships the Lord, delight in the Lord, honors the Lord, enjoy obeying the Lord. What happens? Ano mangyari? Four things. Happy family. 
Hindi masaya yung pamilya. It says there in verse 2, You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be blessed and it shall be well with you. You know when the father fears the Lord, pag yung tatay, ikaroon ng takot sa Panginoon. Sabi lang, he will plant now. He will plant. Okay. Magiging hardworking siya, he will plant. And not only hardworking, tapos darating naman yung undoy, makawala. Yung disaster, yung COVID-19, makawala. Then, sabi lang, he will plant and he will harvest and he will eat it. That's what the promise. When a father fears the Lord, that's the key. Not hard working is the key. Not working hard is the key. The key is fear of the Lord first. Now, as you fear, oh, fear the Lord, then you will, your, your day, you know, you will be, you will be blessed. Sabi dyan, when the father fears the Lord, you will plant, harvest, and eat them. There will be no pestilence or disaster. Kasi may pestilence, ito tao, may disaster. You know? And it, anything can be gone. Pero pag may talk sa Diyos, God will take care of it. You know, the key is fear of the Lord because anything can anything can happen. Anything can be gone. But if you fear the Lord, then the Lord will take care of you. You're going to be secure. Ang Diyos ang bahala sa akin. Pangalawa, you're going to be, you're going to have a happy wife. Masaya asawa. Sino sa inyo mga lalak, tatay, di ba? Sino sa inyo masaya asawa nyo? Mahira pag di masaya asawa nyo. <laughs> di ba? Crazy yun. Di ba? Ang hinap manood ng Netflix na yung asawa mo, malungkot. <laughs> okay, oh, galit sa'yo. Di ba? Happy wife. Yeah, if you're a father, say amen. Okay? Sir, so there in verse 38. You know, your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. May fruitful vine ka daw sa loob ng tahanan mo. Parang ganun daw. No? Pag tinakita ko ka sa Diyos, ganun daw yung asawa mo. You know, this passage may mean, uh, obviously, you know, having many children. Okay? But I think it's beyond that. No? Yung wine, yung, yung grape kasi, di ba, sa uh, it produces wine, and wine is a symbol of joy. And I believe it means you're gonna have a happy wife, a wife that is satisfied, a wife that is happy, secure. Alam niyo yung mga babae, yung mga asawa, yung ano yan, just secure sila kapag yung nakita nila asawa nila, yung tatay ng kanilang mga anak, ay tapat, di ba? Masipag, tapat, may takot sa Diyos. Lalo na yung may takot sa Diyos. Um, you know, um, mas masaya yung mga babae na yung asawa nila, they know they love the Lord. They fear the Lord. Totoo yan. Nakita ko na yan. No? Uh, mas secure sila. That's why if you want your ha- wife to be happy, then fear the Lord. Eh, iba sa sabihin, Pastor, parehas nga kami mata sa church. Asawa ko, ganun pa din. <laughs> eh, baka naman kasi, you know, una, work in progress naman lahat ng bagay. But, and also, maybe, maybe one of you is not yet really a believer. You may be attending the church, but maybe you're, one of you is not a believer. So, check the heart. Check the heart. All right. Now, third is happy children. You're gonna be, you're gonna have happy children. You know, in verse three B it says, "Your children will be like olive shoots." Parin mo patubong olive plants, no? Olive shoots around your table. Interestingly, around your table. Ano yung sabi kaya yun? Olive shoots kasi they actually grow sa mga base ng ng tree. So kaya kahit patuloy ni tree na dudug parin. Ibig sabihin it's it tells us that when you fear the Lord, your generation will continue. Okay, so ibig sabihin yung, yung aklan mo, yung, yung pamilya mo, magkukuntin, yung mga anak mo, dadami yan. So it's a blessing kasi sa, di ba, sa, sa Hebrew culture, yung, yung, yung pamilya mo. Kaya di ba, pag i-introduce sila, the father of ganyan, the father of ganyan. So may blessing sa akin, it's simple blessing. You'll be blessed. But I believe it's more than that, kasi sabi doon, around your table. And, you know, yung pag kumak, di ba, yung around your table, table is sign, symbol of, you know, eating, eh, di ba, eating. That's where you dine. That's where you eat together. And alam niyo ba, malalaman mo, if you, know, you will notice this, you will know if your child is enjoying, proud to be part of your family. If makasama mo yun sa table, tapos masaya ang kumakain yan. Hindi yung pagkatas ng mind, takbo kagod sa kwarto niya, laro ng iPad o laro ng game, ng CODM. <laughs> okay? So, hindi ganon. Hindi masaya yan, pag ganon. Hindi yan masaya sa'yo, yung parang gusto niya, wala lang, obligado lang kasi kumain. Uh, alam niyo yung ano, yung Alam niyo yung mga bata, yung misa yung mga pamilya, hindi na sila sabay-sabay kumain. You know what? I really suggest, you, you eat together. Because there's some, something happens there. Kapag uh, kumakain kayo together. Ako yung kami, pamilya namin, that's the time na really to connect, no? Yung connect sa ilang oras, pero i- iba yun eh. Iba yung over the food. And you will see the joy sa mga na kami. Iba yung pagkain, di ba? Yung prodigal son niya, di ba? Na-remember niya nung nawala na siya sa tiling ng magulang niya, ng tatay. Yung pagkain eh. Yung food eh. There's something there in the food eh. So, Alam niyo gano'n. So, para sabi dito yung mga anak mo daw, naka-gas table, may interest sa pamilya. Proud sila to be part of the family. You're gonna have that kind of family. If you fear the Lord, 
Your children will be happy. Your children would love to be in the home, in the house. Hindi yung kating-kati na silang lumabas. Gusto gusto nila lang lumabas ang mga kaibigan nila. They're not gonna be like those children who enjoy more being outside, being with their friends, but they they would enjoy to be with you. Why? Because you're once you fear the Lord, if you fear the Lord, then you will be able to teach your children wisely. You will know how to be a good father. Not a perfect one, because we only have a perfect father in heaven, but you're gonna, you will know, and your children will love you, would see that, would recognize that, would appreciate it. And that's why, as a result, they will enjoy your family. Alam niyo yung commercial ng Black, yung video na, alam niyo yung commercial na yung habang kumakansya, pag pinapaganda yung anak niya sa table, tapos lumalaki ng lumalaki, lumalawak, lumalayo, lumalayo yung table, sila sa isa't isa. And that's what happens, no? Kung kagasa kasi ang ginagawa natin, pinangagalitan natin anak natin sa table, lalo na yung mga tatay. Oh, saan na naman galing? Ano na naman yan? Ano yung tsura mo? Pinang ka? Manong mana ka taga sa nanay mo? <laughs> so, yeah, lalong makapalayo yung emosyon ng anak mo sa'yo. Pag ganun. And that's why, fear the Lord. Hindi kita mabiblay. Maybe you don't fear the Lord. Maybe you go to church, but you don't really fear the Lord. I will explain to you later what this fear of the Lord means. But that's very important, that's key. Wanna be, you want to have a happy wife, you want to have happy children, you want to have a happy family, fear the Lord. Don't just work hard, fear the Lord. Don't just be present, fear the Lord. Don't just be patient, fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the key to a happy family, happy wife, happy children. And last, you know, happy what? Happy nation. It says there in verses 5 and 6, the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children peace be upon Israel. You know, the family is the basic unit of the society. Basic unit of the society. Yan ang nagpo-compose ng nation, ng society. At everything starts in the family. Sa pamilya mo natututunan matapos sa Diyos. Di ba? Yun naman sa labas natututunan yan. Magulang mo natuturo niya sa'yo. Sana yung mga tatay. I made sure na ako yung natuturo sa mga anak ko. Okay, kami mga asawa ko. Um, honoring our parents sa bahay natin na tututunan yan. That's why pag di mo yung tinuro sa, sa ilog ng tahanan, sa labas na bahay, di mo go-honor yan. Following rules. Diba? Dito mo tinuturo yan. Huwag kang mahuhupit. Huwag kang magnanakaw. Pag di mo tinuro yan dito, tatay ka, absent ka, wala ka, di mo tinuturuan, huwag ka ma-surprise kung magnanakaw yung anak mo. Diba? Kung mananapak na lang yan, mananakit ng tao yan, o duwag yan. Diba? Sa bahay mo, tuturuan yan, maging tough ka anak. Pag pirang may nanakit sa'yo, pag tanggol mo yung sarili mo, huwag ka Unless na talagang in danger ka, di ba? Kung meron ka, tumulong ka. Merong mga uh, nangangailangan tulong, tumulong ka. It all happens in the house. And most of this are actually being imparted by the father. That's why the presence of the father is very important. There are things that we can impart that the mothers cannot. There are things that the mothers can impart that we cannot impart. That's why both are needed in the family. But the fathers are certainly needed in the family. It all happens in the house. And when the father does his job, you know what happens? The nation will be blessed. That's what the Bible says. The nations will be blessed. The key to a happy family, happy wife, happy children, happy nation is fathers who fear the Lord. Kapag may takot sa Panginoon yung tatay, then yung wife, yung family, yung children, even the nation will be happy. In verse 4 it says, and the key is what? Fear of the Lord. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears what? Now, what does fear of the Lord mean? Ano bang ibig sabihin niyan? May takot ka sa Diyos. Yung ba yung na, na nagtatago ka sa Diyos. Hindi. Fear is reverent po. No, talaga, Lord, there is God. You're believing that there is God, that God exists, and that, you know, you're taking it seriously. Fear of the Lord for me is taking God seriously and His way seriously. Because if you're taking God seriously and not lightly, then you will take His way seriously. You really obey. You will really obey. Although when you read the scripture, it's not just strictly walking, kasi a fear of the Lord talaga and walking His way seriously. Ibig sabihin niya, walking in a straight line. Pero, hindi lang walking in a straight line, kasi once, once in a while, mapapaganon ka niyan eh. Tapos wala na. Hindi wala ka ng relation sa pag... No, no. It's, it's walking in the ways of the Lord is really delighting in His presence. You know, enjoying the walk. Hindi lang yung fa- strictly following the religious rules. Marami, maganda rin yung mga tatay dyan. Pag sinabi mo sa mga tatay na rules, ay, kahit na mga tatay yan, mga lalaki. Diba, sanay kami yan. Uh, rules lang pala eh. Sige, gawin ko yan. Pero wala naman sa puso. That's why it's very important. Ang fear of the Lord is really, you know, delighting in the Lord, enjoying walking with God, really enjoying trusting God, enjoying the presence of God, enjoying His, worshiping Him. You know, um, na, ang ganda nung, ano eh, ang ganda nung sabi na sa verse 1, di ba? Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in His 
ways. Yun daw pala ang fear of the Lord. Walking in His ways. When you walk in His ways, you fear the Lord. Now, yung walking though, is not just, again, strictly following rules, but ang um, ibig sabihin niya, yung delighting in the Lord. Ang ganda na sinabi ni, ano eh, ganda na sinabi ni, ni David, no? There is this passage in Psalm 37, okay, verses 20-25. Sabi dyan, The Father makes fear the steps of His children, who delights in Him. Though He may stumble, He will not fall, for the Father upholds Him with His hand. Once I was young, and now I'm old, yet I have never seen the children of God abandoned or the children begging for bread. I love that. That's my favorite verse. That's my life ministry verse. It, that verse tells us that what happens when when we fear the Lord, and fear of the Lord now is walking in His ways, diba? Sabi sa verse one kanin. Fear, fear of the Lord is walking in His ways. Now, walking in His ways is not just following strict rules, no? Strict, uh, faithfully following rules, or walking in the straight line faithfully. Kasi minsan baksa sa blake but really, fear of the Lord is walking His ways, meaning delighting in the Lord, enjoying the presence of God. Really enjoying it. Alam mo na-enjoy mo. Hindi yung napipita ka lang na gawin niya isang bagay. But sabi doon, pag nag-enjoy ka daw, na mag-walk kay God, nag-enjoy ka daw. Sabi doon, you will stumble, parang may parang, alam mo yung matatapilo kang ganyan, pero you're not gonna fall down. Oo. Why? Why do you think? Anong picture kailangan pakita sa atin dito? You will stumble down, but you're not gonna fall. Totally, you're not gonna be, you're gonna fall totally. Back down. I think the picture of this is, yung alam yung tatay na pag naglalakad yung anak, yung father in heaven daw, hawak yung kamay natin, tapos naglalakad tayo ganyan, hinawakan. Kaya kahit may stumble ka, hawak ka ng tatay mo eh. Di ba yung mga tatay? Di ba ginagawa natin, job natin na pag mga maliliit yung anak natin, tayo ano, kasi masakat sa balikat yan eh. Kaya yung mga tatay sumusunod yan. And you know what I'm saying here, your father, you've all experienced that, di ba? Hindi ba pagsak yan anak mo? Pero siya yung mga bata, di ba? Minitigilan na yung kamay ng tatay nila, tiyatanggal nila. And that's what, that's when they get into trouble. And that's what happens to us. When we don't fear the Lord, submit to God, and enjoy it, enjoy the walk. Di ba? How, how ang tatay mo? Enjoy it. Then, sabi doon, you may stumble, but you will not fall. That's the key. That's the key to a blessed life. Not just takot, matakot sa tatay mo. Hindi, actually, gusto mo hawak yung kamay ng tatay mo. Tapos you enjoy the walking. That's fear of the Lord. Not just faithfully following faithfully following the rules. Religiosity. Punta ka ng church. Tapos balik ka naman sa dati mong buhay. Chicks ka. Inom ka ng alak. Bas, yun, bastos ka. Nangbubugbog ka. Hindi ganun. Enjoying. Taking God seriously. Fear of the Lord. You really, you really want God to hold your hands. You know, yung anak ko. Yung anak ko. Si Keisha at si Naya. I love my girls. No? They, both of us, para pare siyang, ayaw nila yung alala ko, bakit siya ayaw nila yung bibitaw sa akin. In fact, minsan nilaloko yung pagkalaki, gagawin nila yung, yung kamay. Yung alam mo yun, yung parang ganun, tapos pila akong bibitaw ako nila. Tapos sabi ko, no, no, that, don't do that. They feel an insecure pag binibitaw ako nila yung kamay nila. And sa tingin ko, that's the picture na binibigay sa atin. So that's why we should enjoy the light in the door, enjoy God. You know, Take advantage na hawa ka ng Panginoon. I mean, that's the kind of life, that's the kind of life we have. You know, that's why David said in verse 25, sabi niya doon, Once I was young and now I'm old, yet I've never seen a godly abandoned or their children begging for bread. Wala daw magugutom, wala daw iiwanan ng Diyos. Matanda na ako, sabi niya, I was young, matanda na ako, eh, pero hindi, ko na, hindi ako nakakita ng may fear kay God na yung kanilang mga anak nag-suffer. No, that's right. Tama yung Psalm 128. Tama yung Psalm 128. If you fear the Lord, magkaka-COVID, pwede ka ma-retrench, mabawasan ang sweldo, matanggal pa. But if you fear the Lord, the Lord is going to take care of you. Are you listening? The Lord is going to take care of you. There's nothing you should worry about. You know, in fact, wala tayo dapat ikaw worry. Kasi hawa ka ng Panginoon, you may fall, but you will not, you, will, you may stumble, but you will not fall. Di ka daw, mag, di ka talaga, di ka daw madi-destroy. Di ka. Yes, you may face challenge, but you will not fall. Because why? The Father is holding your hand. How to be a good father? You hold the hand of the Father in heaven. That's the key. You fear the Lord. You delight in Him. You hold Him. Enjoy holding the Father. And if you're a father, you know, not holding the good father's hand, you're, you're in trouble, I'm telling you. It's just a matter of time, you're gonna be in trouble. Because the key in having a happy family, happy wife, happy children, and even happy nation, 
is holding the, father, the hand of the good father. We have a good, good, good father, I'm telling you. Maybe some of you, your children, you don't have a good father. We have a good father, no. We have a very good father, you know. There's this song. It spoke to me this week and I said, let's sing this song. And I hope this song will minister to you. In the next few minutes, we're going to worship the Lord. We're going to be playing a video, a worship video. We're going to song together. We're going to sing together. And I want you to worship the Lord. And really worship the good, good father. You know, marami nang iya sa and we need a good father. We need to be reminded that we have a good, good father and not worry. And as we sing, so imagine you holding the hands of the Father. Can you make this song as your prayer? We're going to worship the Lord and I want you to worship Him. Be intimate in the next few minutes. Let's, let's worship the Lord. Who I am, who I 
Praise God. Amen. You know, as a father, sometimes I worry if it comes to a point that I could no longer provide for my family. But I'm reminded that ultimately the father is the father of my children. That's why if you're a father, if you fear the Lord, you're going to be comforted. Because at the end of the day, you may fail, but the father in heaven, the good, good father, will not, will never fail us. He will, he will not definitely fail us. He will not be honored. And, you know, let me end with this. A father, a father who delights in the good father will be a good father. That's it. A father who delights, an imperfect father actually, who delights in the good father will be a good father. And his, help, his family will be happy. His wife will be happy. His children will be happy. And even the nation will be happy. You get the message that we pray for you right now. Lord, I pray for the fear of the Lord among the fathers who are worshiping with us right now. May they walk according to your ways, Lord. But let them do it with the light. Let them do it with the light. Bring them to a point, God, that they are, that's no longer a duty, Lord. The fear of the Lord is no longer a duty, but a delight, Lord. Let them delight in worshiping you. Let them be a leader in worship, Lord. In the church, let them raise their hands and worship you, Lord God, without any shame. I pray, God, that they will delight, obey, and trust you. Because that's the key, Lord. That's the key. Unless the fathers, Lord God, fear you, there will be no blessing that will flow into them. Lord, I pray for all of us as well. Pray that all of us will find delight, Lord God, in the Father, in the good, good Father. Father, indeed, you are good. You are perfect, Lord. Like I love the song. You are perfect perfect in all of your ways. You know what you're doing. You're not going to abandon us. You're going to provide for us. You're going to protect us, Lord. You unconditionally love us, God. Salamat, Panginoon. We are always secure. Lord, we're going to hold your hands. Like a child, Lord, we're going to always hold your hands. We're always secure, forever secure in you, Lord. Thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. And now, if you're listening, and you know in your heart that the you don't have a relationship yet with the Father in heaven. I want you to take this time to, to surrender your life to the Lord. To surrender your life to the Father, to the good, good Father. He's a good, good Father, I'm telling you. Now, pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Take control of my life, Lord. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. Now, I repent from my sins and receive the gift of salvation. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you made that prayer, you know what? You made the best decision in your life and we want you to do two things. To connect with God, read your Bible and pray, and also to connect with people. Download the one to one app. The one to one app will help you mature in your faith, grow in your faith. And if you want help, you can contact the number 
there on the screen. We'd love to help you, guide you in the one-to-one, -one, in, in doing the one-to-one, -one, in knowing the Lord more. And you may also point to the person who invited you in, to worship with us. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you for joining us once again. Um, and maraming salamat po. May the Lord bless you this week. Can I just pray a prayer blessing to all of you? Lord Jesus, Lord, I pray God for the fathers. You bless them, Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord show His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And may the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. Happy Father's Day. See you next Sunday.